Grade 11, uh, welcome to Module 5, which deals with mechanical loci, the helix. And we're going to do a number of helixes in this module. So let's look at our first one. It's a very basic one that we have. And if you look at the instructions, you will find that uh, the top view and the front view of a solid shaft is shown. Where this is the top view here with a circle, and that shows the shape of the cylinder. There's a center line here. And you also have the reference point A where you are going to start your drawing. The specifications are, and you need to be very clear, that one pitch, the word pitch, refers to one full turn, one full revolution. You need to underline that, make sure that you understand. So what does that mean? It means that if you have point A here, point A will go around its circumference and reach the origin again in one full turn. And that is from a top view. And if you look at from the front, you will see that that point goes around the cylinder and it will stop right over there for one turn. So the outer diameter of this cylinder is 80 diameter. So you need to use a compass of 40 radius where you're going to have your radius from this point 40 out through the circle. So the instructions are very clear that you're going to start at point A, which is basically we are at the bottom, and you're going to draw to a scale one is to one, one and a half turns of a left-handed single line auger. So I need to explain this very clearly. A single line will travel from this bottom to the top, but it will travel for one and a half turns. We already established that one turn, which is the pitch, the pitch means it goes up the height. We established that one pitch, which is one turn, equals 60 millimeters. But for this activity, we need to go one and a half, which basically means that 60 plus half of 60, which is going to be 30 millimeters. And that's going to equal 90 millimeters. So that is the reason why we have this 90 over here, because it's going to go one and a half turns. That means that A is going to finish over there. And for us to trace this point as it makes its way to the top, we need to have divisions equally spaced apart. And because we are working with a circle, we normally divide the circle into 12, which is 12 parts, which equates one full turn. So what I'm saying, learners, is that within the 60, which you're going to have for one turn, there will be 12 spaces. And if you have a half a turn with it as well, then you're going to add another six spaces because six is half of 12 and that's going to be altogether 18 spaces within 90 millimeters which you have here so you will see my 90 will be divided into 18 spaces and i need to determine what the size of each of the spaces would be and that is when you are going to take your 90 which is your height for one and a half turns and you divide that by 18, so 90 divided by 18, and that's going to give you 5 millimeters. So 18 spaces of 5 millimeters each will give you 90, and that will lead us into one and a half revolution or one and a half turns. I want to explain the left handed single line, left handed from the bottom up means clockwise and I want to write here left handed and I show the arrow up will be clockwise so when you have a right handed turn that means it is going to be from the bottom up it is going to be anti-clockwise so you're going to add your arrow in here for clockwise like that and you will follow that point right to the top.
Then learners, of course, you need to show all the necessary construction, which I'm going to do, and you don't need to show any hidden detail. It is not required in this drawing. I'm going to start with my given drawing, which I have here, according to the dimensions. I'm going to divide this space into 12 parts, using my 60 and my 30. It's already in four parts. Then I'm going to plot my point as it makes its way around the cylinder until it reaches the top for one and a half revolution. Please follow the steps very strategically and do complete this activity. look at our activity on the opposite side where we are given once again the front view and the top view of a solid shaft and you have the reference point O which is going to the, be the starting point and then your specification should be that your pitch in this case is 48 so for one turn for one revolution you're going to have a height and that always refers to the height of 48 you have an outer diameter of the auger which is 80 millimeters which is that there and you are obviously going to use a radius of 40. Your instructions are very clear. This time you will draw to scale 1 is to 1 two and a half turns of the right single line auger. So let us calculate. So in this case two and a half turns. One turn is going to be 48. And then we're going to have another turn, which is also 48. And then we're going to add a half a turn, and half of 48 is 24. And that is all going to add up to 120. Now we go to our spacings, which we're going to have here in the 120. For one turn, you need to have 12 spacings. 
for another another 12 and then you have half a turn which is going to be 6 so you will have 12 plus 12 which is going to give you 24 plus 6 is going to give you 30 so you will have 30 spacings and a height of 120 now we need to determine what will be the size of your spacing and that will be the calculation of 120 which is the entire height of two and a half turns divided by 30 which is the amount of spacings which we're going to have but we, not, we need to know what the size of each of the spacings would be and your answer will be 4 millimeters so you will have to reiterate you will have two and a half turns of which that is going to be 12 spaces here because that's just a circle the height will be 120 which we have here already and there will be 34 millimeter spacing sizes inside this 120 so to start off we're going to use step one by redrawing the given information dividing that circle into 12 spacings divide this into 30 spacings of 4 millimeters each and to plot my point as it makes its way around for two and a half turns to reach that point over there which is opposite to the starting point at the bottom please complete this drawing by following the steps very carefully 